Good morning everybody on this um, 21 March 2017 I believe we are second day of spring um, and the world's in an upheaval <laughs> but regardless I haven't made a movie in a little while I just I'm en enormously busy sometimes I always say you know be careful what you wish for anyway here's a knife I had uh, commissioned by a, a good customer of mine in in Sweden who has the opportunity to um, give a gift to a uh, a moose hunting girl who's an acquaintance of him and uh, he wanted to give her a gift and we came up with this little moose hunter right here this is an Anderson Forge hunter my basic platform hunter um, but I and I and I always hot blue I often hot blue I'll rephrase that often hot blue my Damascus which this happens to be a just a single bar of twist Damascus as opposed to a multi bar and if you're familiar with the etching process how when you when you etch your finished Damascus the tool steel eats away and it leaves your 15 and 20 or your nickel bearing steel a little taller and then I come back after I hot blew it and I sand the bluing off of the taller nickel bearing steel which gives it a lot of contrast that you'll see in, in a lot of my knives but on this one I hot blued it and I thought you know that's pretty darn cool um, I've probably left my Damascus blades completely blued maybe only you count them on one hand three or four or five times maybe not five times but anyway so this is one and we left it that way and and I like it immensely the um, guard is hot blued it is a takedown and we left my rather than a decorative finished finial we left it um, with the socket head cap screw because this is going to go out in the field this is going to get bloody and uh, full of guts and moose fat and who knows what right so this will be a little easier to take down and clean up in the field if she so chooses than a, a little decorative finial that would cover that affair so anyway that's there and we have some really nice uh, ringed gigi it's a ringed gigi handle from Australia and this is mammoth tooth so let's make sure nobody I didn't I didn't help uh, deplete the mammoth population or I'm not trading in ivory this is just a tooth you can buy them on eBay for hundred bucks you know they're about the size of a cantaloupe but this is mammoth tooth inlay on both sides we wanted to make it a little bit special and I think it is so there's the mammoth tooth inlay and a ring gigi and um, I guess I could I could just quickly I also just sharpened this thing um, I usually do these video I usually do the videos <laughs> before I sharpen them so I don't make a fool out of myself um, cutting myself but we'll I'll just be careful this is the socket head cap screw silver brazed into a 5 16 stainless steel yeah hands of a knife maker right the handle come right off of there these are the you know, these are very, very very there that one comes out these are really in here snug um, I'm going to grab a pair of parallel pliers pull that out and just to show you this handle is tight even without the pins it's it just it just goes on there let me get this off and that's a snug fit too but there's our handle with the guard off it is a zero tolerance fit on the tang you can't hear any slopping around or anything you see it's fit right in there Anyway, nice little hunter headed to Sweden. I hope to get some pictures of this thing in use in use whenever their next moose season is. Speeding things along here. Hate to bore you. 
Nice fit on that. Boot and tight. Sweet. Anyway, there she is. Anderson Forge Hunter, ring Gigi, mammoth tooth inlay. Have a nice spring, y'all. About time to start planting a garden. Talk to you later.